birthday to me. Happy birthday. Hope you're having a good one and you're having some drinks. Uh, I know I'm having some drinks for you, even though we can't all party together this year. I think we're all individually partying for you. So it's like we're all together in spirit. Um, how do I, how do I say what my favorite thing about you is? Um, to sum it up, I think it's just the way you make everyone happy. You make everyone laugh, you make everyone smile, and that's rare. I can't think of anyone else that makes people as happy as you do. Um, I think back over my life and whether I was 10 years old at a t-ball game or 31 years old now and we're at a barbecue or we're going to a Dave show, um, <laughs> anytime you're there, it's a guaranteed good time and you know you're gonna spend the whole day laughing. And I can't think of anyone else that has that effect on people besides you. So that is very special. Um, and speaking of special, my favorite memory over the years got to be when you were the priest in Cass and Joe's wedding. Um, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's the last day that I can remember grandpa clearly speaking. Um, so the last words I ever remember him saying were on that day when we all had our champagne glasses raised and he said, I love you all so much. Um, so that's a really special memory to me. I could still picture a smile and that was a day that's special for all of us, for the whole family, for grandpa, and that day wouldn't have been possible without you. You, you made it all happen. Um, so I'm lucky to know you. Um, I really feel like our families were meant to be in each other's lives. Um, you're so special to me. You're so special to all of us. And we all love you and wish you a very happy birthday. Cheers. Happy birthday, my UPS bud. It's been a long fought career, but we made it and glad we were able to reconnect through, you know, God's good graces for our journey. In the end, even though you screwed me by not showing up at my retirement party like you promised me you would. <laughs> uh, I had a legitimate reason for not coming to yours, you know, vacation with Kenny Petrangelo. That was more important. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, that was, it was something that we had, you know, um, we made uh, reservations and, you know, was planned. So in the end, um, it's been great, you know, finally getting together again. And uh, I wish you many more, you know, great endeavors, you know, with your family and friends and many more happy, uh, happy birthdays. And uh, just want to wish you a happy 60th. Keep it going. Hi Mike. Hi uh, Mark. How are you today? Happy birthday. Uh, I hope everybody is well. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, I just want to say it's always great to hear from you. I think you're a hell of a guy and you're very, uh, what is it, family orientated and do a lot of nice things for people and so thank you very much and my wife now is coming into the room to say hello to you and wish you a happy birthday say happy birthday to mark timlin oh happy your face in there move over here by me oh so what who cares what you look like down low get lower hi mark say something nice to about her. say something nice about her. That's what he wants to hear. He wants everybody to tell him how wonderful he is. You're wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take care. Have a great day. Have a couple of beers. Not now in 15 days. His daughter is making this thing better. All right. I don't know what else to tell you. <clears throat> Have a wonderful day. He's not going to answer you. No. All right. Take care. Uh, all right. Bye-bye. Hi, Mark. Uh, there's nothing else I can say, but uh, I feel I'm the luckiest guy in the world to have a brother like you. And I hope you have a great 60th birthday. Love you, John. 
Happy birthday, Mark. One thing that's my favorite about you is I can always depend on you to put a smile on my face and make me laugh hysterically. Happy birthday. Hi, Mark. Happy 60th birthday. Hi, Mark. Happy birthday, 60th. Got here, huh, fast? Gonna get your hair fast? Huh. Enjoy it. We wanted to say thank you for what you've done during the pandemic and organizing the family reunions over the internet. That's been great. And we love your sense of humor and you're such a great storyteller. We love listening to your stories. And we hope that when the virus goes away and it's safe for people to get together, that we can see you soon and you know celebrate with you in person. But know that we love you. And again, we want to wish you very happy 60th birthday. Let's push this again, Mark. We're thinking of you. Hi, Mark. Like you, it took us a few takes to get this video right. And I think Cindy almost didn't make it. Cindy, come on, wake oh. up. We got to wish Mark a happy birthday. Oh, right, right. Mark, you came into our lives. Amanda was the king. Then there came Obi, Jack, and a baby, soon to be. 60 is a milestone that you impressed upon me. We'd like to wish you long life, many blessings. May you live, laugh, and be loved till 120. Happy 60th, Mark. We love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy 60th. Hope it's a good one. Um, once this baby comes and COVID's a little bit better, hopefully we can get a drink and celebrate. Woo! Miss you. Love you. Happy 60th, Mark. Um, welcome to the club. As you can see, once you hit 60, the uh, eyes start to go, hence the glasses, and then the mind. Um, but sometimes that's not such a bad thing. Anyway, um, it's such a pleasure to be related to you and to have had so many opportunities to spend time with you. You just make everything fun. Um, I wish it wasn't COVID because we do need to celebrate this day very soon, together, in person, having a drink. <laughs> anyway, happy birthday, Mark. Much love. Hey, Mark, Bob Freed here. Happy, how you doing? Happy 60th birthday and hopefully, uh, I'll be able to see you sooner than later at a concert. Hope you're well. And again, have, have a great day. Happy, healthy one to you. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, Mr. Mr. Timlin. Timlin. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We just wanted to say happy birthday. We hope you're having a fun day and celebrating. Happy 60th birthday. Even though it's probably not what you were uh, hoping for, we hope you're still finding a good way to celebrate. And uh, this just means next time we see you, we'll have one more thing to cheers to. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Hey, Mark. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. Love you. Hey, Glenn. Hey, John. How Hi, Tracy. Hey, John. You guys, you guys know Mark Timlin, right? Oh, yeah. He's the Facebook whore. That's him. It's his yeah. birthday. Did, I'm doing a video. Happy birthday. Didn't you sleep with him? <laughs> <laughs> what does your phone say? <laughs> This is for you, Mark. Your daughter asked me to do a video tribute for your birthday. And what gift could I give you better than 15 minutes, buddy? And it's friggin' cold out here. So you better appreciate this. Let's see if anybody else heard of Mark Timlin. Timlin is. Wait. Mark? Mark. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> we found we found somebody who doesn't know you, Mark. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I wanna fix it. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 
see if these guys know you. Hi, Emily. Hi, Michael. Hi. Hi, Joe. How are you? You guys ever heard of Mark Timlin? You mean Mark Timlin from Facebook? Facebook? Yeah. yeah! It's his birthday! Well, happy birthday! Thank happy you! Happy birthday! Thanks, guys! <laughs> there you go, buddy. There's your video tribute for your birthday. I gave you your 15 minutes. Happy birthday, Mark! Happy birthday, Mark. We wish you a happy and healthy birthday. And we're thankful for having you in, in our life. Yes, we have so many fond memories, great adventure, dinner dates, basketball games, volleyball games. But probably my fondest one is all the trouble you went through to get Cassidy, her Cassidy teeny baby bear. And she still has it. So thank you very much for that. Look forward to making new memories with you, brother. Happy birthday. And it's not a party until Mark Timlin gets there, the life of the party. I think so. <laughs> Love you. Happy birthday. Mwah. Happy birthday, Mark. Wanted to wish you a happy 60th. And I'm really happy we've gotten together and reconnected over music and friends recently. And until we could get together for another show and celebrate properly, here's to the walrus. Happy 60th. My favorite thing about Mark is his undying loyalty to his family and friends. Um, it's quite obvious having, getting to know him better over these last few years, um, that he is a very loyal guy. Um, my favorite memory would be our trip to Camden to see Dead & Company. Um, awesome concert and more importantly, a great time to hang out with Fairlawn High School and a couple other guys. Uh, friends together anyway happy 60th um great number and i look forward to hanging out when times are better and we can actually hang out in a pub take care happy birthday mark oh, the best thing i can remember about you at work was you would tell us a story on monday and we heard it about three four more times towards the end of the week hey you want to hear a story yeah you already told me that Happy birthday. Hope you really enjoy it. Snooze, snooze. Ah. Oh, I'm tired. Ah. Oh, I'm tired. Let's take a nap. What? Not again. No, I'm tired, Blue. I'm tired. No, not me. That again! Oh. Oh, we're gonna dance again! Hey, Mark. Hi, Mark. Want to wish you to the club, baby. 60. It's what it is, buddy. You're here. Happy We're birthday. all there. Happy birthday, brother. Look forward to the next concert whenever we can get together. Have a great day. All right? Happy 60th. See you, buddy. Bye. Okay. Oh, we're indoors. We're by ourselves. COVID. Damn COVID. Okay, first of all, I want to wish you a Mark. Very happy 60th birthday. What a milestone. Not too many people do that. Cheers. <coughs> Out of those 62 years, I know you 42 years, Mark. That's a long time. And it's been a pleasure being friends with you for this whole time. I remember when I first met you, Mark, you were drinking Miller High Life in the Nips. I turned you over to the Budweiser Nips. Made it better for you, yep. One good thing. And then you turned around and did a good thing for me. You introduced me to the Grateful Dead. And then you took me to my first Grateful Dead concert, September 5th, 1979. First day of school. We took the, the subway over. 
It was such an amazing show. I had a great time. The next morning I get up at about 10 o'clock in the morning and I go to my mother, why didn't you wake me up for school? And she goes, oh, there was a big storm last night to cancel school. I said, oh, Jerry, you're the Lord, Jerry. And from that point on, we, me and you did a lot of dead traveling. We went all over the place. We went to California, we, we put our backpacks on. Of course, we didn't travel much, but we stayed in Ventura. We had a great time out there. Then uh, your wedding. I remember the night you got engaged, you were going to California and you asked me to drive you. And you surprised me by saying, when I got to your apartment, that you and Michelle got engaged. Popped a bottle of uh, champagne, we had a toast, I brought you to California. Then you asked me to be in your wedding. Great pleasure to be in your and Michelle's wedding. We had a great time. And then came along Amanda. I remember one of those late eight o'clock nights that you got home from UPS, your norm, and uh, we were due to go out one night. So I was sitting there with Michelle and Amanda. You came home, you took a shower, and we went out. And I noticed something, you were very antsy. You asked me to be the godfather of your firstborn, Amanda. It was such an honor. Then, little things like when we went down to Seaside and we rented that little bungalow in the uh, Seaside. We had two uh, signs that we put on the door for people that were gonna come and visit us. At the beach, we were at Chip's Bar. What a week that was, huh, Mark? And you, you know, as well as my family, you were to eat the breeze. You were welcomed. Um, I remember though, me and Carolyn were talking about it the other day. One of the Super Bowls we had over in Fairlawn at my mother's house. And it was during the Publishers, Publishers Clearance uh, sweepstakes. And uh, you kept saying to my mother through the whole game, don't forget, I'm the eighth degrees. And then the doorbell rang and you went nuts. But it was only Michelle coming to pick you up. It wasn't uh, the, the winning. And me and your family, uh, your, your whole family, your aunts, your uncles, your parents, they all welcomed me into the, the thing. We, uh, we, we had some good times at parties and stuff. And then it's just sports, Mark. The one thing we agree on is the Vikings. We don't have much to celebrate, but we are both Viking fans. And it turns out that you're a Met fan and I'm a Yankee fan. So we had a lot of different bickering back and forth. We also had some good bets. I recall the one of the best records, I think it was, and for one season. And the Vets had a better uh, season than the Yankees that year. And the bet was that the loser had to take the winner out for food and drink. So I picked a place, we went up to a place called Bennigan's. And uh, we were there for hours. And uh, we got the bill and it was like $20, because I knew the bartender. And it was, you were so mad. I said, ah, I gave him a big tip. I filled my part of the bargain. And then, of course, you know, we had other different kind of bets. But the best bet of all was 2000, when we were trying to decide what we were going to do. And uh, we didn't want to do food. We didn't want to do money. We wanted to do something unique. And I remember bringing up the loser how to get the winner's logo a tattoo. And you were like, no, that's too permanent. So I came up with this. This is a classic. Mark in my Yankee uniform. I love it. And I have pictures, this will go forever in our memories. But the most important thing about this whole thing of these 42 years that we know each other, it's a true honor to call you my best friend. Not too many people can go 42 years and still be friends. And you are truly a best friend. And I wish you the greatest year. Hopefully COVID will end sometime this year and we can get together and celebrate, okay? From me to you, have a very happy 60th birthday. Happy, happy 60th birthday, Mark. We hope you have the best day ever. Hi Mark, you just went to the store and this is my only opportunity to do this because we have been 
quarantining together since Christmas. Um, I know I'm a big pain in the butt, so I appreciate that you can quarantine with me. And needless to say, you make me laugh at least once a day. Um, and when I work from home, you make all my meals and most importantly, my five o'clock drink. So I love you for that. And you are the best father and an even better pop pop. You are a great brother. You are a great son. You are a great son-in-law, a brother-in-law, cousin, and you touch so many people in your life, which you're probably going to realize when you see this video. Um, I know this year is going to be the best and I wish you only that. I love you. Happy 60th, <laughs> Happy 60th birthday. Can't wait to go for walks with you together in March. Hey, happy, happy birthday, birthday Mark. Mark. Big 6 0. The 6 0. <laughs> Pops, old man. Enjoy it with your grandkids. Miss you guys. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We'll, we'll see, see you soon. soon. Happy birthday. To you. Happy. Happy 60th birthday, Dad. I truly am so lucky that you are my dad. I'm so thankful for how close we are and we are so thankful for you always being there for us and supporting us and all the memories that we have with you. So. For your 60th birthday, we wanted to share 60 of our favorite memories with you. Okay, I'll go first. When we got fake matching tattoos together in Florida and all the memories we made on the Vegas trip for my 21st birthday. Asking permission to marry your daughter and getting drinks afterwards. Going to Rita's together every time I'm home and the Philip Phillips concert we went to before he made it big. Getting soaked at the Dave Matthews Band concert. Our obsession with American Idol back in the day and the Hilary Duff movie marathon week, the week after I got my appendix taken out. Watching you talk to a random person while we were walking in a crowd in Amsterdam and wondering if you knew him or something. Us always messing with the dogs with balloons and many other things for our own entertainment. And the night we had a teen mom marathon while drinking Cosmos. Trying a bunch of different types of Gouda cheese and Gouda Netherlands. Many, many shorty long concerts and many, many Applebee's football Sundays together. The confusion around Las Vegas, New Mexico and how we all agree that it was too embarrassing to share with others. Your birthday dinner at La Bamba, where you first officially met Devin and going to get buttons together. Showering at her Airbnb in Amsterdam. Uber into Walmart for wine in New Mexico and going to Rosa's Catina together in El Paso. Killing that bee on the bus in Bruges. <laughs> uh, traveling to White Sands, New Mexico together and drinking way too many bottles of red wine in the Albuquerque Hotel playing in our stage tournament. Going to the restaurant La Posta in New Mexico together and many, many concerts together. Trying new beers all the time. Going to New York City to see the tree, uh, Christmas 2018 and taking Honey May to meet Santa at Petco. Cracking up while watching the Sebastian Maniscalco's stand up um, the Christmas you guys came to visit us. Uh, the last night on your May 2019 trip when we walked to Blockhouse together and you walking me down the aisle at our wedding. Uh, the many times you were an extremely helpful co-pilot and navigator on all of our road trips in Europe. The night you drove us to Baltimore and helped drop us off at the airport the night that we moved here. And the few days that you and mommy met me in Boston on my work trip. Somehow always accidentally finding the live music anywhere we went in Germany. Your obsession with outlets in Europe and the day that we binge watched Dead to Me together and you predicted what was going to happen in the first 20 minutes. Uh, going to visit that strange Catholic pilgrimage site called Chamayo, north of Santa Fe. Going to the K-Town soccer game together and climbing up all the stairs at the Airbnb in Amsterdam. Uh, drinking wine while eating those very nasty jelly bellies in the hotel lobby. The memories we made traveling to Bruges, Belgium together and in Amsterdam. You putting up with my obsession with the snow, or lack thereof. 
when the four of us were in Italy last December and mommy tried to get out of the car and forgot that her seatbelt was still on and got stuck. <laughs> when you guys came to Fort Lee to watch me graduate ALC. Our three hour plus phone calls on the weekends catching up and drinking vine stroller together at the wine fest. Uh, getting stuck on that very skinny road in Milan, Italy and getting frustrated and you having to ground guide me and to turn me around. The New Year's Eve fireworks here in Germany and going to the Adam Lookout in Amsterdam. Uh, going to the Forest Brewery in Sud Tirol and laughing at the very strange farm animal advertisements they had. The canal tour we took in Belgium and the four of us being roomies in that very small room together in Italy. Buying shaved pig's tongue for all of us to try. <laughs> going to Christmas markets together last year and you teaching me and Amanda how to eat sunflower seeds when we were little. You always commenting on my very long conference calls. And all our other trips growing up together to Florida and California and many other places. We're so thankful for all these mem memories and the many more to come. We love you. Happy 60th. Hello, Mark Timlin, a happy 60th birthday. Uh, join the crowd. Just wanted to say thank you for everything you did at uh, UPS for all the workers. It was all greatly appreciated. And uh, I don't know what else to say, but a uh, very happy 60th, my friend. Uh, very proud to know you. <laughs> Bye. Hey, Mark, I just want to say happy birthday. Uh, let's cross paths again someday, dude. Uh, it's good to call you a friend. Be cool, my brother. Happy birthday, Mark. Um, we're here, Tim and I, and we both wish you a very happy birthday. Say something, Tim. Happy birthday, Mark. Hope you have a wonderful time. Yeah, and uh, get ready for the big snow. Uh, right. And uh, be careful and uh, take care of everybody like you always do. And you're a great guy. And. Uh, Happy birthday. And okay. stay safe. And stay safe and uh, send me some money, okay? <laughs> and me too. And send Tama some money too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Happy birthday, Mark. Love you, man. And uh, I just wanted to say, it's been a, a, we've been together a long time here. I met you in 1980, you know, back at UPS. And, uh, you know, it's been many, many years and we've always had a great time together. And, uh, you know, speaking of great times, you're a grandfather now. And, uh, you know, you're the big pop pop. And I'm so happy for you. And congratulations on being a grandfather. You know, I'm very, very, very happy for you. And I just want to wish you all the best. And I want to congratulate you on your 60th birthday. I want to wish you a great day. I hope you have a very special day and a special year. Happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday, Mark. Mark Timlin, what is there to say? Such a great guy, great dad, great family person overall. A pop-up two years in the running and now times two. Uh, always there for friends, family, Strangers, co-workers, always a lot of fun to be with. Um, since 1980 plus years, it's too many to count, but we've had so many good times. Too many to pick one special favorite. Um, looking forward to when Carmen and I are able to retire down closer to where you guys are, living in the neighborhood and picking up our Free children partying days right back to our post-retirement party days together again. Love you. I'm so happy for you and can't believe that you're 60. You seem 40 to me, buddy. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Uncle Mark. Mark. We make 60. We miss you and love you and hope you have the best day. We wish we could be with you. Riley says happy birthday too. <laughs> We love you. Hope you have the best day. Bye. Happy birthday, Mark. What's up, Mark? Happy birthday. I hope you enjoy your day. Big sit-so. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. I'd say definitely my favorite memory with you, Mark, would be when we filmed the track video, I think during my freshman year of high school, uh, with you in the shorts. Pretty memorable. As well as uh, during my haunted house when you were patrolling. <laughs> yeah. 
the streets with your flashlight. Um, yeah, good times, good times. Well, I hope you enjoy your day, Mark. Happy 60th, and hopefully see you soon. Happy birthday, Mark, and it's gonna be great being 60. I'm here to tell you, it doesn't get better than it is. My very favorite memory of you got to be whenever we had weddings or funerals or baptisms, and we would get together and I couldn't breathe. I would laugh so hard about you trying to get close to the sisters, get information about their past and telling Michelle, Michelle, make sure you take notes because you know I'm going to start drinking and I'm going to forget what happened. And then the next day comes and we all go to find out what you found out and you found out nothing. Another memory that really sticks with me is when we were younger and we would go up to see you and your mom and your family and um, when you were younger and my mom we would be eating and you didn't want to eat whatever we were eating so you had bosco and yodels and i always thought man you are the luckiest kid in the whole wide world that you get to have bosco and yodels and often when i'm in the store and i see those things i get tickled thinking about all those uh years of going up and seeing you uh, you're the greatest. We love you. Have a great day. And um, hats off to you, Amanda, for organizing this. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Mark, I just want to wish you a happy 60th birthday. Uh, it's great to know you and who you are and what you're all about. You're a great guy. I love you, brother. You're a great dad, great husband, great grandpa. Congratulations. And uh, you're a great guy. And many blessings. And stay safe this year. Cheers, brother. Have a good day. My favorite thing about Mark, oh my gosh, I would be here forever. Um, I think his love for his girls is so amazing. His love for life. Mark would do anything for anybody. He's such a great person. He's hilarious. He always makes me laugh. He's just a special, special person in my life. And I just love him so much. Happy birthday, Mark. Can't believe you're 60. That's a big milestone. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Love you. Happy birthday, Mark. Big six zero. Uh, I know that uh, this probably isn't how you anticipated celebrating, but I hope that you are getting to spend time with family um, and your two little grandsons. Beautiful new addition to the family. Congratulations on that. Uh, just wanted to wish you a happy, happy birthday and uh, and hopefully a lot more good things to come in this upcoming year where we could celebrate together soon. Take care. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mark. I know that celebrating during COVID doesn't allow for the party that I'm sure you would have liked to have, but I'm sure you'll have a wonderful day with your family. If I don't get to see you before July, you have to come by the beach house and we will celebrate your birthday properly with a few drinks. Uh, you have a great start to your year. You have a beautiful new grandson, Dylan. So now you have him and Jack to enjoy. And you have uh, Nicole and Devin coming home. So it looks like you're gonna have a great year. Hope to see you soon. Love you, bye. Hello, Mark. Happy birthday. It's been a long time. I almost forget how long it's been, but I've never forgotten about you. Happy birthday. My favorite thing about Mark Timlin would be his uh, positive attitude and his fun energy. If he is there, you are guaranteed to be having a good time and to be laughing. And my favorite memory of Mark Timlin is at Kelsey's wedding. Um, it was like a dance sing-off combination to the Meatloaf song. And he had the whole crowd lit. Everybody was gathered around. We're laughing, we're singing, we're dancing. and. Um, he really, he did an A-plus performance, and I will hire him for my wedding as well. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mark. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mark. 60. Really happy for you. Hope you have a great day. Love you so much. Enjoy. That's Puppy Boar. Happy birthday, Uncle Mark. We love you. You are the best. See you soon. 
Happy 65th birthday, Mark. Sorry we can't be there with you, but I'm glad Michelle made up this video so we can say hi to you. Uh, I know 2021 is going to be a much better year for you than 2020. Uh, you have your second grandson and so excited for you guys. And I know Devin and Nicole are coming home soon. So uh, enjoy the year. It's got to be better than 2020. I'm sure you'll have a ball with everybody home. And hope to see you down Long Beach Island and get together and have a drink to celebrate your 60th. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, Mark. Happy 60th birthday, my friend. Hey, I got to tell you, when I heard that you were celebrating your 60th birthday, wow, my world was shaking a little bit. But if ever the expression that age is just a number is true, you are the living example of it. Now, you have a beautiful gift. You find joy in anything that you do, and you willingly share it. I know that whenever I get the chance to spend any time with you, I know for sure I'm going to be laughing my head off. And I thank you for that. So in any event, happy 60th birthday. And remember, you know, UPS, pretty well run company, and they want to get the most out of those trucks, they keep them on a regular maintenance schedule. So make sure you're taking care of yourself. But most importantly, continue to have fun with Michelle, your girls, their spouses, your grandkids, and your family and friends. Have a very happy 60th birthday. Salute. Hey Mark, it's Jared. Happy birthday. I hope you get to enjoy this year more than the last one. And congratulations on the new grandkids. Hope everything's going great. Happy birthday. Where's the jello? Where's the jello? Where's the jello? I asked you three times, where's the jello? <laughs> Mark, that'll go down in history. We just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday to the eighth or ninth member of the DeVries family. You're a very special um, part of our lives and uh, we miss you. Have a happy 60th and hope to see you soon. Carolyn and Johnny. Mark Timlin, I hear this is a 60th birthday celebration and I am very happy that I was put into this group. I apologize, I'm a little late to the party, but um, I looked like I was in a fight with Conor McGregor. So um, that said, um, I guess everybody's taking their turns at bringing up memories with you. And uh, obviously the best one is well, you remembered when you came to New Jersey, how long you'd been there based upon how old Brooke was. But probably the moment that stands out is the moving excursion that we took on lunchtime with the UPS truck the day you came to learn my route. Uh, even funnier than that was of one of the many trips into the office with Tim Brown when he lunged across the desk. Uh, we thought for sure that we had his you know what, in a sling. Um, you've been a great friend. Uh, you listened to me in some really troubled times in my life. Uh, great union rep, great shop steward, uh, incredible father, grandfather, husband. Um, bless you. Um, happiest birthdays on your 60th birthday. A shout out to Michelle. Good job, kiddo. Take care, Mark. Have a great birthday. Hi, Mark. It's Pete Sumas. First, I'd like to wish you a happy birthday. During our time together at UPS, it was my pleasure to work with you as the shop, assistant shop store. We had fun at our AM meetings as we went and ready to go about our day. Above all, you were great shop store. You were loyal to the local 177. I want to wish you a happy birthday and a healthy birthday. Thank you. Hey, Obi, can you say happy birthday to Pop-Pop? Happy birthday, Pop-Pop. 
Hi dad, we wanted to wish you a happy 60th birthday. You've truly lived the last 60 years to the fullest from following the dead to marrying your high school sweetheart to raising Nicole and I, and now you're living the best retired and pop-pop life. So cheers to the next 60. Hope they're filled with uh, lots of fun, music, drinks, family, and friends. We love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.